Hello, this is David Birch at Star Path School of Navigation with a, a first of a series of videos on the use of grib files in uh, OpenCPN. And um, to the, this this part will just be loading the grib files. And there's there's lots of there's tons of options and many things to do with these. But uh, uh, this first uh, section is just on uh, how to load them. So we uh, start with um, the, okay, let me back up and say, um, here is, we're going to get the, get the, get the data from uh, SailDocs. That's our most universal source of uh, grid file data. Um, and uh, I would start out by making a folder on your computer, some place to store all the grib files in the same place. I have something here called My Gribs, and here's some samples. And so what we do is here's the type of email that you send to get the files. And here, I've, this just lists you, it'd be pretty rare, almost impossible, that you'd want all of these like this. They're you know, high resolution, low resolution mixed up and, you know, so forth. But this just shows you the sample format. You send to SailDocs at query, at sale, oh no, sorry, query at SailDocs.com. You can put anything in here in the subject. Generally, I would put what you're asking for because you can always send the mail a second time to get it again. And then here's, a, here's some samples of data. Uh, model data from SailDocs. This is the NAM. The NAM available from SailDocs is 12 kilometer NAM. There's also a 3 kilometer NAM, which is a really nice data, but they don't have that. They have 12 kilometer NAM, which is very good. GFS, National Digital Forecast Database. That's a uh, sort of the digital version of the National Weather Service. It's not really a model output, but it's available in GRIB format. This takes other discussion. I have, vi I have articles on this in our article section. This RTOFS is the ocean currents, and this is the waves, uh, sea state and waves. And so what you would do is send this mail off like this, probably just one or two of these at the most. And then, but here's a big note, there's no spaces. After you have send, you have a blank space. Then here's the model, NAM, and then a colon. And then you have latitude one, latitude two, longitude one, longitude two. Doesn't matter, you can higher, lower, first, doesn't matter. And then you have this bar a vertical bar, and this is the resolution of the model. See the GFS has a best resolution 0.25 degrees. These are units in degrees. Then you put a bar again. So that's the resolution. Notice here that the NDF is 0.09 degrees. This is 0.25 degrees. The um, wave's only half a degree. That's the best it is. And so then this notation here means you put, you could put a zero and you could put zero. Zero will always be the latest surface forecast and then from the model. Then you put a comma. You could put zero, comma, three, comma, six, and then the bar. If you put zero, three, zero, comma, three, comma, six in a bar, that would give you three maps. It would give the service analysis three hours and six hours, period. That's all you'd get, those three. And often, you, it's, that's a good way to do it. Or this notation here, I got two numbers, zero, comma, three, comma. That sets the interval I'm after, then two dots, and then 96. That means give me, give me a forecast every three hours all the way out to 96 hours. Then another bar, and then the parameters. And then for the, for the NAM, I'm getting here, wind and sea state, wind and pressure, wind and pressure. E each of these has more, more parameters than I've shown here. But we're just getting these for a sample. And uh, the most, and, and no spaces between here and here. Uh, after, after there's one space there, and then that's it. And then bang, you send that mail off. Then, uh, shortly later, you'll get a mail back that looks like this. Here's a sample. Some warning about, uh, you know, that grib files are, no one's ever looked at these, so you have to use them with caution and so on. And then once this, this is your file down here, your grib files attachment. Just grab it, bring it over, and drop it 
drop it in your foil foil folder that was one way to do it and then that's that so now we've got the grib file we requested from sale docs we got the grib file we loaded it into a place where we know it is it's here um, okay then that's done and that's done now you come back to your uh, plugins I mean back to here Oh, excuse me. Let me close that. This is a this plugin comes part of stock. Comes with it. Grib the grib grib files. Click that, and then uh, here's this is the button that loads it. This is another way to to send a, to create a request for sale docs. But the what what I've shown earlier is a more general more general and more models and things like uh, things like that. So this has a limited utility. This one, uh, you then you just say open the file, and then then you navigate with your browser here. I mean, with your uh, Explorer or File Commander or whatever this is called on a Mac, and then you find the file. So let's just say I take the GFS, and then you say open, and then that's it. And then it says down here in the bottom the one it opened, GFS, and so forth. And then there is that. That's over here. And there's the there's the wind data, and and oh, okay. So let me rem okay. Let me back up a minute. Go. This has got this uh, classic uh, open CPN arrow on the end of it, which is they have a option to remove now. So you go. Okay, what did I do? I went to click the wrench, the starting point of everywhere. Go to the plugins. Go to the uh, grib grib plugin here. Go to preferences. And down here, draw barbed arrow heads and uncheck that and say OK and apply. And then we're done, done with that. OK, cancel. Now they're gone. So now they look a lot more like the National Weather Service arrow, uh, the weather, uh, National Weather Service wind barbs. The feathers are technically going the wrong direction for the northern hemisphere, but that doesn't matter for now. Okay, so there we are. That shows that. And then I'm not getting into that much detail now, but this wrench here, the wrench, the gear, is where you control uh, what it's going to, uh, how it's going to look. There's you control the wind, the pressure, and so forth, the wind. And so this is showing the barbs, barbed arrows. And then this is the overlay. Let me take that off, apply. You see that's the color in the background. I put that back on, that's supply. So that's what that is. Then you control the others this way. Oh, the pressure is not showing here. Pressure, uh, oh, okay, so it's not showing. Display the isobars, okay. So now I have pressure and isobars showing just fine. And then that's the way you would do that. Now, let's go, I just, and that's the, just about where I want to end, except one important point, which is a real, that turns out to be a really valuable feature of o, o, uh, open CPN, because often you want two files loaded at once. Some, and so let me just say I want to look at the NAM winds. That'll be a much better winds than these GFS. And I want to also look at that together with the currents. So I'm on a Mac. Oh, gosh, let's see. I think I can just hit the... I, I, I highlight them both and then say, oh, see, they're both opened. Now, in a PC, when you do this in a PC, it, when you highlight two like that, I think you use a control key there. I'm using the command key here. But uh, then it actually shows you're loading both. Here it doesn't, but we just have to go and click it open. Now, the wind. Um, Oh, and here, look at this. There's no, it doesn't, I don't see any wind, and there should be wind. But this shows now the different, uh, different model, uh, different models. And see, these, there's a little conflict here at the first one. So if I go to this one, they're both at the same time. But from now on, they'll step through here and show both at the same time. So there's a sort of a minor conflict on loading that first one, but not to worry. But see, that's 1800, and then here's 1800. So now I'm showing wind and current. Uh, actually, I may have a conflict. Let me have a conflict in display, maybe. Let me go here to the pressure to the wind and uh, turn off the overlay for the, the color overlay for the wind and say apply and OK. So now it's a little cleaner in a sense. These brown arrows are now the, the, uh, the wind. 
The black arrows are the direction of the current, and this is a strong current. See, read up here the values as you go across there. This current is like three, it's a Gulf Stream, right? That's a Gulf Stream going across there. And you see the current going along like that, and that's three, you know, three knots down here, point three knots, three knots, four knots, 3.2. So that's a display of those. And then you look at different times this way, that's later. Or you can go, or you can just go here, um, go to the first one. And then you can either step through it like that, or you can slide this guy like this, or you can make a movie of it. I think that'll step through automatically, does it? Or maybe that does. Okay, see that one steps through automatically. And I think there's a control in there where you can you can figure out how fast the steps go. So that's all I want to do now. That's it. Just just loading the grip, getting them from sale docs and loading them into OpenCPN.